Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this and building what this is part of. So now I wanted to get the new CNC going, and but before I did, uh, I wanted to get a chip shield set up, and so I whipped these up uh, because you might remember when I had the probotic, uh, I did an episode on building a chip shield to attach to it. So I've taken that shield off because I boxed up the probotic. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. It might be a future product project. But I got that chip shield and I can't attach it to the side like I did the probotic. So I needed to build some or design some uprights and print them. So that's, that's what this is. So uh, pretty much like the monitor riser, I whipped these up in Inkscape then extruded them in, in uh, Tinkercad, printed them out here. Uh, again, um, pretty basic uh, overall print. And again, since they're just going to hold up the plexiglass. I didn't want to get too fancy, but there are a couple things I think worth noting about these. Especially, uh, I printed uh, with two different types of filament because I ran out when I had to go print this one. So, uh, one of the things, let's head over the bench. We're going to pull this up, go over to the bench, take a look at these a little bit closer, the two of them with different filaments, and then we're going to go ahead and attach it and see what the end product look lo looks like. So, let's head over to the bench. So here we are at the bench with these. So um, one of the things that I did want to show with this is uh, I had printed this version with some really cheap PLA that I, I got. I paid about 13 bucks for a spool of this. And one of the big things you notice is the poor bridging between the infill. Now I printed both of these at 10% again. Um, the idea is, is they don't really have to hold any weight. They just have to hold something vertical. So it's more structural in that aspect. So the the piece on both that uh, face the bed came out actually pretty good on both of them. Uh, but, but the bridging piece, and now they were both printed on the tarantula, same STL file, everything exactly the same, same G code matter of fact. And look at the poor bridging here versus the fairly decent, because I did these at one layer, because again, uh, I wanted to save on plastic, and these are rather big pieces. And, and again, there's no structural uh, component to them other than they just hold a piece of plexiglass upright like that and keep it from tipping over. So, anyways, I wanted to show you guys this, because I, th I think, you know, with filament, you somewhat get what you pay for. I don't think all filament is made equal, and that is really clear by... Uh, this poor bridging. I've had a lot of issues uh, with this filament. You've probably seen uh, a number, some of the box videos and things in the past with the uh, poor striations on, on it. And again, it was all printed in this filament. So I'm glad I've used this up. But, uh, you know, for 13 bucks a roll, it was okay for making video stuff and, and experimenting. But I tell you what, um, outside of that, you know, was definitely not worthwhile. This stuff I paid, I think around uh, 20 bucks a roll for uh, much better prints a lot better so very happy with the the difference between two so i wanted to share that so enough of this piece tell you what let's head over to the cnc machine and actually assemble this and i'll show you what the dust shield looks like okay welcome back now we've got the finished assembly here so as you see i've got the plexiglass inserted in there and uh I designed in holes here, so I've used some M3 50 millimeter long uh, bolts and nuts to attach the glass, simply uh, or the plexiglass, simply drilled through them after I set it in the grooves, and uh, works pretty well. So uh, one of the things I am going to make is some corners for this, uh, because this sharp corner here is, uh, I've almost poked myself on this a couple times. Uh, because you really don't see it when you lean down. So I am going to print some uh, to go on that corner. Uh, but that would be another project. I'm also thinking about doing one for the other side. I only had it on the one side. And basically it was to keep the electronics on this side of the machine clear. But I think I'm also going to put one, because it's a little bit smaller than the probotic, on the other side. Um, so just where I had the holes for the probotic, just for looks, I put a couple small screws and nuts on there. What I may do is actually... Um, print some longer uh, reinforcements to go on there, especially maybe for the middle, uh, to provide a little bit of rigidity because it does flex a little bit like that. But outside of that, it, uh, I think it'll do its job well. And the nice thing is, is I can pick it up and I can move it elsewhere, uh, sort of reminiscent of the Mythbusters where they had that kind of plexiglass shield protecting them. So. Anyways, uh, I really like how this came out. So if you have a CNC or something like this where you need to have a movable chip shield, I think this really does a nice job. Again, 
just a couple, you know, I don't even think a couple bucks in plastic. Um, you know, I think this piece was under 10 bucks. So under 10 bucks, got a nice, pretty nice uh, chip shield. And again, can move it around. And if I change machines, I can change this. So it works out pretty good. So if you found this interesting, hey, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you got comments, hit me up below. Check out the swag shop. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.